Hey guys, you're watching Bob's Decline here. I'm just in one of our terminal yards right now, doing some switching, waiting instructions from our power system operator. And uh, I wanted to show you something. See, there was a discussion at the office the other day about using rubber gloves when opening our gate into our substations and terminals. And uh, I don't know if you ever noticed, but inside a switch yard, absolutely everything metal is bonded. Every single cabinet, every single steel structure, the gate, everything is bonded together in our terminals and substations. And that is so that there's no difference in potential between these objects. You get a lot of induction in the air. Uh, right now, this section is a 345,000 volt yard. So, what we got here, a piece of tie wire made of aluminum. Me holding it in my rubber gloves like this is essentially isolated and this cabinet my phone's sitting on is tied in with the ground grid so any induction in this piece of wire wants to bleed out the ground you can actually hear it adjust my phone here a little bit now this cabinet bonded right to the ground grid in the gravel and this is just a piece of wire floating in thin air now actually even when I rub my hand over this cabinet I can feel the induction right through the rubber glove something might take a few years to get used to especially if you're working on transmission lines that's why you gotta make sure you follow all your proper bonding grounding procedures rubber gloves when opening a gate and don't put yourself across two metal objects of different potential. Thanks guys.